Hello guys, my name's Chris, welcome back. I'm going to do a bit of an unboxing of some gear today. Uh, this is something I used to do a lot back when the channel first started. I used to do them quite regularly, it was one of the main sort of content uh, uploads for the channel, doing videos. Um, moved away from them for a long time. Problem I've come to realise is that it's hard to do videos on every single little pouch and bit of gear and gadget and stuff that you buy. Uh, every little gun accessory and that sort of thing. So I wanted to do this video today because we've got a couple of packages, a fair, uh, fair bit of stuff coming, um, just to show basically, like pretty much, like everything I buy will get posted on the Facebook, but I have a lot more YouTube subscribers than Facebook likes. So I wanted to show you know, products that obviously I wouldn't have bought them if I didn't reckon there was at least a good chance they were worth me spending my money on. So yeah. That's why I wanted to uh, take the opportunity while I'm first unboxing this stuff to show it on video. So uh, we've got two boxes here that come in from the States, various different retailers that, uh, that they've come from, various different types of gear and accessories and things. So we're going to start here on my left. Okay, so a couple of simple little things first off. This is a, uh, a handguard removal tool, it's a bit of a weird thing, chopsticks maybe, but yeah, um, if you have a particularly stiff, strong delta ring spring uh, on your AR and you have a drop in handguard, you can just hook this into the, uh, into the magwell of the gun, you can press back on the delta ring with one of these, uh, and yeah, uh, Midwest Industries this one is, and I've got a couple of guns where the battery is stored inside the handguard, so being able to get at that uh, easily is definitely a plus. Padded two-point rifle sling from First Beer. This is a seriously heavy-duty uh, sling, as you can tell by the, the size of the pad that's on it. Um, I like to integrate different sling designs to sort of create a sling that to, is to my preferences. Um, I tend to integrate a, some sort of pad section like this with a magpul sling, so that will be uh, possibly something for another video. This one, uh, this is something I've been waiting for a long time. This is a completely uh, bespoke custom handguard from Unique ARs. I will put a link to them down in the description box because they are a very interesting company. You literally you can get anything you want machined into a, a tubular aluminium uh, AR-15 handguard. Very nice, uh, very nice products. Patches from Maxpedition, definitely check out uh, the Maxpedition website. They seem pretty awesome morale patch designs. I think there's some more in there somewhere. Water bottle from Camelback. Hydrate or die. Remember that, guys? Fucking true. Michael sticker. I've got about a million of those. Michael case from the Galaxy S5. Uh, obviously, Android is the way to go, guys. Remember that. Small GP pouch from First Beer. Handy for a myriad of things. This, this is an interesting little sling component. Um, Magpul have recently released their MS1 sling line, which is basically just bits of the uh, the MS3 and MS4 slings, and you combine them separately to sort of build exactly the sling you want. Yeah, be uh, making something interesting out of this. Oh, <laughs> obviously something pretty. Gucci going on here. Um, these are the Gen 3 combat trousers, Fry Precision, uh, and the Multicam Arid. As soon as these released, I was like straight on these bad boys. Uh, I think you know, if you're watching the channel, you probably know uh, a lot about Cry apparel already. So yeah, pretty happy with uh, with that purchase. I must admit. And some more uh, Multicam Arid fabric. This is literally just a big old square of the nylon cotton 50-50 uh, Multicam Arid. I've got some pretty, uh, well if the plan I've got for this all goes the way I hope it will, it's going to have some pretty fucking cool results. So uh, keep an eye on the Facebook and the Instagram guys. Got some good stuff in store with this. So that box aside, get into the uh, the big one. 
it's kind of disappointing as you get older bigger boxes tend not to be as good but I think in this case we might have a bit of an exception alrighty a couple more patches from Maxpedition they do like fucking amazing like when I first found their website I was just blown away by some freaking uh, awesome designs on there I don't know if you can see that on the camera I don't know, there, there, there's some, some just fucking funny stuff Lots of little bits and pieces from DSG Arms. A little um, 15 bit. A Midwest Industries uh, QD sling. A uh, little hook point there. Um, again, I like to amalgamate slings and sort of make up my own design, so things like that are good. AR 15 magazine catch. Going to try that in some airsoft guns, see if it fits. Magpul Industries uh, M lock. Little polymer rail section there, only cost a couple of bucks. I don't actually have an M lock hand guard yet, but I will definitely uh, be buying one, probably equipping a few rifles with the M lock uh, rails, so definitely have a use for that in the future. AR 15 barrel nut, if you rethread your airsoft upper receivers, you can fit these barrel nuts uh, and they will hold on your uh, outer barrels, and it makes fitting certain uh, real steel four ends uh, a lot nicer, a lot more solid. And this is a weird one, this is a chamber flag. You uh, pull your working parts to the rear, fit that into the barrel, know for sure that that gun is safe and clear. Uh, I'm not sure whether this will fit into the into the hop unit in the barrel of a, a, an airsoft gun. I'm gonna try it on some gas blowback rifles. I think I'll probably have to like shave some material off of this section because obviously airsoft guns don't have a chamber, it's just straight into the six millimeter barrel. The issue with a gas blowback rifle is that there is there's no way, apart from getting a cleaning rod in there, there's no way of getting the BB out of the hop unit. So yeah, you can remove the magazine and remove the power source, but it's still, to my mind, preferable to get that BB out of the gun and clear the gun 100%. So if you, if I can shave material off of this plastic section, insert that into the barrel, that will pop out the BB, let the working parts go forward onto it, uh, and then you can see that flag and know absolutely 100% of the gun is completely safe and clear. 612 Cumberbund upgrade from first bit. These are fucking, like, if you have a plate carrier that can physically fit these, you need to get one, guys. Uh, I've done a review and uh, you know instructions on fitting these on my channel before. And you can literally you can add the tubes the functionality to pretty much pretty much most plate carriers that exist. It's really lightweight, comfortable, low profile. Gives the 612 attachment and just being able to take the plate carrier on and off. Like you know, instead of that massive velcro flap, you go just click the tube. Easy as that. Absolute amazing upgrade. Blue Force Gear having a little sale, so I picked up a couple of little pieces from them. So a small utility pouch. This is a great size for going on a plate carrier cummerbund. Just the exact right height. Obviously, again, absolute myriad of uses for these. Top of something again, I've been waiting for for quite a while now. This is a completely uh, custom item. Again, this is a plate carrier from Dead Coyote Tactical Nylon, uh, custom shop in the States. I did, I've been through a lot of plate carriers over the years. Um, I made a very long list of very picky requirements for what I wanted in a plate carrier. No manufacturer made one exactly to uh, the specs I wanted. Um, so yeah, I had to go down the custom route. And this combined with the first beer cummerbund, I reckon it's going to be a pretty fucking awesome setup. So yeah, I'm looking forward to trying this thing out. A couple more patches, one a little machine shop and mill spec monkey. Good shit from those guys. Hydration pouch is a two litre from First Beer with the uh, six nine attachment, which is uh, fully compatible with all your, your old pals kit. Um, so, fucking awesome pouches. Pretty much all I can say about those. Michael Industries MOE stock. Fucking, I think if you're watching this channel again, you're pretty familiar with these things. Just a uh, bloody good stock really, you, you cannot go wrong with these. I dig through another violent little machine shop and <laughs> a couple more good ones from um, Maxpedition. Uh, if, you, if you follow the 
the Facebook page and getting the Instagram and stuff, I post up all these patches. There's like there's some pretty good ones out there. First spear shoulder pad upgrades. Very nice padded little upgrade option for any plate carrier that's got a, more of a basic strap to it. I'll try these out on the on the dead coyote rig. These. Yep, two smoke grenade pouches uh, with the uh, helium whisper backing from Blue Force Gear. These are again a great option for setting up plate carrier cummerbunds because they are just the right height uh, going on there. A magazine pouch tends to be one pal's uh, row taller than, a, than a most plate carrier cummerbunds, whereas a smoke grenade pouch is generally the right height. Pretty fucking epic belt. This is the first spear assaulter's gun belt. I've reviewed this on the channel before. Fucking amazing quality. Cobra buckle. Plastic stiffener. Velcro lined on the inside. Double layers of webbing. It's obviously the multicam. They've used you know, the jackal webbing and the ma matching Velcro. Fucking, you know, there's a there's a lot of belts out on the market. Um, these similar sort of webbing belts and. As with most of their products, the first beer is uh, pretty much up there with the best. Another first beer chest rig. I'll definitely check this one out in more detail. This is their split front tubes chest rig. So if you want to get it on and off, it takes literally that long. You don't have to put the whole thing up over your head. You can just put it on and off exactly like a jacket. Super lightweight. Um, fast top quality materials, all that good multi-cam shit. Blue Force Gear Sling, this is in a Cryptek Mandrake. This is the, the Vickers, one of the Vickers line of slings. It's the padded version, as I mentioned before. I'll be combining this with some different bits of hardware and uh, making the sort of sling that I like to use. Tango Down IO cover, this is basically for T1s. Um, Hopefully this is going to fit on one of my primary arms, uh, copies of the T1. Not 100% right now if the actual turrets in the exact same place, so we'll see how this goes. But it's nice little aesthetic upgrade that protects your uh, optic investments. Two of two, the Camelback water bottles. Um, we've got a 750ml here and this is a full litre. I think a lot of you in the military will probably be familiar with the way you, you get to a point. <clears throat> I certainly have this after basic training where they're constantly telling you, oh, gotta have your water bottle full, gotta have your water bottle full. And you just reach that point where you're just carrying a water bottle around everywhere you go. I, I have a pretty stringent sort of water drinking routine and work. Um, so yeah, good quality water bottle is, uh, <laughs> again, it's kind of like a GP pouch or a, a, a knife or a torch, you know, the, the number of uses and the utility of a basic item like that is, I mean, they're worth, or in a survival situation, some of that's obviously worth the weight in gold and, you know, camping, any outdoor stuff, water bottles, absolutely essential, a quality one, definitely worth investing. In. That is uh, everything for now, guys. Check out the social media links down in the description box. Lots more information and pictures and videos and stuff to come with, uh, with all this gear. Uh, over the coming weeks and months so if there's anything you're interested in let me know uh, it's preferably via the Facebook uh, cheers to all the subscribers all the thumbs up all the shares all the good shit is much appreciated and I'll see you next time guys